Pay, Kansas City Royals, quit your whining. Mets pitcher Noah Sedergaard is right Politi bits the Royals were furious, and really, they had every right to be furious. Mets pitcher Noah Sedergaard, after promising that he had something special ready for leadoff hitter Alcides Escobar, knocked him on his tacos with a 98 miles per hour fastball that sailed over his head and straight to the backstop. It was a purposeful message, and in the aftermath of the convincing 9-3 victory in Game 3 that got the Mets back into World Series, it was the only thing that anybody wanted to talk about. Especially the visiting team. Here's what the Royals said, a ball at my head. That's no good. Throw inside, don't throw at my head. Escoba you don't want a teammate to have his head thrown at so everyone is upset. But we'll find a way to get back at him. First baseman Eric Hosmer I thought it was weak. Very weak. I thought it was unprofessional. Outfielder Alex Rios on TV, third baseman Mike Mustakers was caught calling Sidergaard a 12-letter word and a 5-letter word that's another name for a cat from the dugout while punctuating it all with a bunch of F-bombs. And here's what the Royals didn't say, are you kidding me? If we were down 0-2 in the World Series and the Mets leadoff hitter had been smacking us around, of course we'd have expected one of our pitchers to send a message. Related, writes Heroics get the Mets back into this World Series because that's the reality here. Oh, it's understandable that the Royals are angry about Sidergaard's first pitch, and, no doubt, his brilliant response to the criticism, and filing it away as motivation. If they have a problem with me throwing inside, then they can meet me at 60 feet, 6 inches away, Sidergaard said when asked about the criticism, and if you needed another reason to hope for this World Series to go 7 games.